Greetings folks, this is the Runcam Racer 5 F FPV camera with gyro on board. Does that mean it gives you a stabilised image? I'm glad you asked. No it doesn't, it just gives a readout in the OSD of the pitch angle of the camera. I'm not too sure why that would be useful but uh, I guess it's something else you can have on the screen. Anyway, let's have a look at it. It's a small, lightweight camera designed for small quad racing, I guess. Uh, little M8 lens. Uh, for my uses on fixed wing, I prefer the big M12 lens and the weight of the camera doesn't really worry me, so um, it's not kind of designed for my purposes. Mounting screws and cable. So there's the cable, uh, we get OSD output there for changing the OSD, power, voltage and signal, signal, power and uh, signal, ground in the middle and power on the left. We also have, uh, I'm sure that'll be an RX and a TX pin for connecting to the UARTs on your flight control board and all right, let's have a closer look at the specs in the manual anyway. So at the moment it's about 47 Australian dollars uh, and you can get 2.1 millimeter lens or 1.8. I believe I have the 1.8. Yes, I have the 1.8 millimeter lens. CMOS sensor, wide, super wide dynamic range, 1000 TVL, 160 field of view for, for the 1.8 lens, switchable between 4.3 and widescreen, which is great. NTSC or PAL OSD, built-in gyro, this is the interesting thing, uh, one-touch scene setting, personal or light tracks, and 0 0.01 lux, super wide dynamic range, uh, 5 to 36 volts, and cable control or remote control, weighing 6.1 grams. And you don't get a manual in the box, you can download it from the uh, Runcam website. So joystick control, you get one of these pads and uh, it doesn't come in the box, but you can use any of the previous ones that you have probably. Or UART control, you would connect the TX and RX to the RX and TX on your flight control board and then select run cam device and you can use uh, stick commands to uh, set up the menu and uh, select items. And here's the OSD display and this is the uh, gyro generated pitch angle display down there. We'll have a look at that in a minute when we connect it up. All the other adjustments. All right, time to connect it up and see what it actually looks like. All right, let's power up the camera and long press up for advanced settings. Now I have a, an OSD pad there. Uh, we have, there's the gyro readout, you can see it's changing the angle. So that's the cool, cool new feature. Gyro on board, giving you pitch degrees. Uh, we have pilot name or whatever, call sign and uh, flight time there as well. So press the center button, picture adjust, we can flip brightness contrast. Hue, colour gain, return, language, camera reset and exit, long press up and now we can turn the pilot name on and off and change the position, uh, change the timer on and off, pitch degrees on and off, sharp view on and off, widescreen, let's do widescreen and let's change it to PAL. Bit leave the pilot name on, uh, timer on too. You'll see we won't get the flickering now because this is a 50 hertz uh, power system here and uh, we're in a PAL uh, environment. Uh, we're pretty well ready to put it on the plane and go for a fly actually. Okay, we have a little run cam racer on uh, the Rambler, LTE Rambler. 
All right, so let's go for a fly and see how the image quality looks. And have a look at the tilt angle displayed on the screen. It's looking pretty good. It is a lovely blue sky day. It's like my angle's all wrong. Maybe. There's the uh, FR Sky Pixel OSD. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? Except it's in the way. Let's have a look at all the uh, iNav stuff. Not quite fitting on the screen. Might be the NTSC PAL difference. This is a very nice image. For a little M8 lens, Hello doggy. Can sail out of the train. Well it's not as good as the DJI <laughs> HD FPV of course. But for analogue, it's a beauty. Really nice image quality. Bright colours, I could probably turn them down a bit. Bit of odd distortion in the lens. Uh, I've got it set on the 16:9 aspect ratio. But I actually do like the Rambler. Uh, it, it could well be the best of the swept forward uh, flying wings, I think. Watch the speed difference when we come back. Go out a bit further. And we'll come back 44 kilometers an hour. Now up to 70, 80, 100. But we're here to look at the image quality, and I have to say it is very nice. Nice, smooth image. Bit of shimmering on the blue horizon there. A lot of cameras can't handle that sort of subtle blue. I keep ignoring the gyro. Um, yeah, look, the gyro pitch angle uh, doesn't have a lot of relevance for uh, flying on a fixed wing, but maybe for setting up the angle of the camera on a quad, maybe. Anyway, it's a novelty. It's a sign of things to come, I guess. Breaks up a bit when it's directly overhead. Where's the oh, antenna's pointing towards the ground, that's why. There you go. Look at that, that's nice. So for a nano-sized camera with an M8 lens, this is doing a great job. I guess being a racer it has really low latency, relevant for quad racing, but uh, just a nice camera for fixed wing as well. Let's bring him in. And here we are, very good. So there we have the little run cam racer on the Rambler. Uh, quite a suitable camera for the plane. Very nice for fixed wing as well as quad racing, I guess it's designed for. Surprisingly good quality from that little M8 lens, I have to say. Uh, colors are probably very bright, although it is a nice blue sky day and sunny. Probably could turn the colors down a little bit, but, <laughs> and the, pitch angle displayed on the screen is an interesting novelty. Uh, I guess we'll find a use for it one day. Very good, thanks for watching.